So far, we've discussed how you can publish from a Flash FLA file to a Swift for a browser on a desktop. We've also discussed publishing an FLA file as a .AIR file, an application that can be installed on the desktop. So what about Flash for mobile devices? If you have something like an iPhone, you've probably noticed that Flash content doesn't play through a web browser. This is more of a policy decision than a technological limitation. But the fact remains that Swift files and iDevices aren't compatible. This isn't true for Android phones. Flash content can be viewed through a browser on mobile. However, in late 2011, Adobe announced that they weren't going to continue updating and maintaining the Flash player for mobile web. Instead, they, along with other members of the community, will be supporting the development of HTML5. Now, just because the Flash player for mobile is not going to be actively updated anymore doesn't mean it suddenly disappears off devices that already had it. Your Android phone will still play Flash files just as it did before, as long as your Flash player from before is still installed. But going forward, if you want to build for users purely on a mobile web platform, you should consider that and maybe even use something else besides Flash. Adobe has provided a way to convert your content authored in Flash to HTML5. Since it's HTML, it can be viewed on a mobile device. The tool for this came out at the same time as Flash Professional CS6. So to learn more about it, find the Toolkit for Create JS extension on adobe.com. But of course, there's more to mobile than just browsing the web. One major area of development for mobile devices is the creation of apps. And you can publish your projects from Flash into applications that can be downloaded from places like Google Play or the Apple App Store just fine. Apps are not Swifts that are viewed through a web browser. They're Flash content that's published through the Adobe Air platform. We talked about how Adobe Air works in the previous movie. Remember that instead of creating a Swift that's viewed through the Flash player in a browser, Air packages up the Flash content and makes it something you install. You buy an app in the Apple Store or in Google Play and then install it on your phone, right? Well, that's what Adobe Air does. You author it in Flash, the authoring program, but when you publish, you publish an Air project. The Air project packages up your Flash content in a format that can be understood and installed on your mobile device. You get a different end file depending on if you're publishing to iDevices or Android devices. And then you deploy that end file to the appropriate distribution point, like the Apple App Store or Google Play. The point is that creating apps for mobile in Flash is definitely something that you can do. There are other courses in the lynda.com online training library that focus specifically on Air and developing Flash for mobile in particular to help you with those topics. Those courses assume a basic level of understanding and how to create content with Flash to start with. So for now, this course is still a good place to begin.